Hi everyone! Keef is a feedstock for the plasma static process, so today we're talking extraction using a resonator. If you're interested in this topic, keep watching. Come in sideways like that. Okay, whatever you want to do. Here you go. You got it. You're in. The plasma static process can process fresh or dry flour. However, it must be done in powdered form. This can be done by extracting in many ways, including a tumbler like the resonator. Have you done this before? No, not me. The resonator is an inexpensive device used to extract glandular trichomes. It can extract five to seven pounds of material at a time and can process dry or live material. Cycle times vary on cultivar, grind size, biomass type such as trim or flower, whether it's dry or live, and depending on batch size. A good rule of thumb is that a batch takes about an hour to process. Yeah, without a doubt, you can see the difference. What you probably want to do is go out that hole. Yeah, you've got so most of it over well, here. No, even, even right here, it's almost. Yeah. It's well, I was going to say, you take your paintbrush, you can get that upper, and this side upper, in the middle there, too. And then I, you can take it to that one edge. Yep. That'll probably be that containment. Well, what do you think? What are you saying, though? Though there are plenty of extraction machines, most of what you see in this video should carry over to other devices. Though the resonator is cryo-capable, we prefer to extract in a cold environment and maintain the cold chain. Cryo-extraction can produce higher extraction yields, but condensation is an issue. Think of what happens when you pull out a beer from the refrigerator. Water immediately condenses on the bottle. This also happens uh, with your hash after cryo-extraction. Hash must then be dried prior to the plasmostatic process. One benefit of creating keef is you generally achieve a five to one size reduction from flour to keef. Extraction yields, or the cannabinoids removed from the original flour, can be quite high, anywhere from 90 to 98%. This will depend on many things, including your batch size or how much flour you tumble each cycle. More importantly, milling your flour liberates trichomes improving extraction yields. Extraction balls and cryo temperatures can also be used to increase extraction yields. I might need to turn that power off real quick.
In this video, they were looking for a specific quality. You will notice several passes on the same material, then inspecting the key each time. For the plasma static process, most users generally extract for yields since the plasma static process works with any quality keef and improves it to an almost perfect purity. It was up to about 7.4 with the lid on. Now it's dropping down. Do yourself a favor. Put your brush in here with this edge. Kind of put it in an angle like that. And let it push all that shit inside. Put it right up on top and just take all that shit off. Yep. He's going to end up there still, but that way you're not knocking off. It gives you a little bit more space. I put that on the floor because you're not, oh yeah, this one you're going to spit next. So I am trying to direct that. <clears throat> this is probably going to work out good because the way he's breaking it down is what we want it when we go to static. We don't want it too green. You know what I mean? Yeah. Too much junk. So, showing how it goes off at different speeds at different times. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just lift up that side, you'll be fine. This side will stay in. Try and get it past that purple stopper as much as you can. In case you're wondering, the cord tied to the center of the drum is to reduce the swelling of the fabric and hitting the device bottom, especially when lots of flour is loaded into the drum. sample out, look at it in the light outside in your room or whatever, or put it in front of that light. Or take a sample up or something. Give a little sample for the next one you're ready to look at. Like I said, I don't know when that guard or how green is green or you got your glass guard there, we can get that people. 
My knee starts hurting. Here's a tip. Use an electrical timer for convenience so the machine turns off when the timer elapses. It's going down a little. You can see that goes straight into the side of the machine. The next step in the process is to sieve your hash to remove oversize, undersize, and to decapitate before proceeding to the plasmostatic process. <laughs> 